But it's like if okay, we could do a simulator. Okay, wait, simulator stream. I'm gonna teach you guys life coach. Since I'm so good at like getting women, I will help you guys. <laughs> okay, so we're at uh, a coffee shop. Okay, everybody likes coffee, right? You probably get some occasionally or whatever. You hate coffee. Okay, well, like, whoa. What? <laughs> okay, I don't know. We, you guys probably don't even see actual women, so we're just gonna go with the coffee shop, okay? Wait, I have an idea. Okay, so... <laughs> so, as a woman, I'm very qualified. As a woman who scores many numbers of other women and drowns in fucking bitches 24-7, I will be able to educate you guys on to how to properly get women, alright? Dude, to Rose. <laughs> Rose, I need, I need, I need like another body if you want to be in the, in the skit. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh my god, Rose, okay. <laughs> so now I'm gonna be able to flex on you guys because my strats are gonna work on a real life woman. So, because trust me, with my tips, dude, you're gonna be drowning in it. Numbers. You're gonna win over that girl you've been thinking about for weeks. The girl that you visit that you don't even like the food at that restaurant, but you go there all the time just to see if that girl is there. You know what I mean? Maybe there's like a Discord kitten and you gotta win her over. You know, she's she's flirting with some other Discord moms, but you gotta be like, hey, sweet cheeks. Here's why I should be your nitro gift supply rather than that guy. What you doing today? I'm teaching people how to get bitches, Rowan. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, wait, your eyes. Okay. <laughs> hey, we did it. It's perfect. Oh my God, it's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Rowan, Rowan wants to be in it too, but we'll see if we can- I'll see Rowan! I'm gonna start it up with Rose, but then maybe we can have like an interference. My first tip for landing bitches is like, don't just like be a cog in the machine, right? You wanna start being personable straight off the bat. So if you were to ever, if you were to working and then you were asked like, well, what is your recommendation? It's like, it opens you to be more personable, right? Yeah, it opens a room for conversation to talk about like your fashion tastes or your food tastes or whatever. And you can lead from there. Exactly. Okay, so you're the coffee shop lady, okay? So yes, I'm, I'm yes. gonna, I'm gonna be the bitch that's just like, I, I walk up, so. <laughs> Uh, hello. Hi, what can I get for you today? Hmm, you see, okay, I was dwelling on a couple things, but I'm having a really hard time choosing. What, what would you recommend? Oh, well, we have a new pumpkin spice latte as well as a uh, vanilla chai tea that just came out. Mm -hmm. Ooh, um, those both sound really good. I think I might go with the vanilla chai. <gasps> That's actually my favorite! Yeah, really? so good. It's, oh, yeah. that definitely is, that stood out for me. I, I really like mm -hmm. the sound of that one the most. I love vanilla. I love chai. Can't go wrong with that. So then, um, you know, the cafe attendant will probably make your food. And like I said, I don't recommend bothering her too much unless you think of something that you insanely think is like the funniest or most like friendliest shit. Like, it's too weird to like approach her with it immediately until she gives you oh, an opening. Sure. So let's say she's finished with your drink that you made. Uh, and she, she's ready to give it to you. Okay, so Rose, uh, give me my drink. Oh, no, here's, here's your drink. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thank you so much. And, uh, by the way, I really like your green hair. <gasps> thank you, I just got it done last week. I'm yeah. really happy with it. It looks incredible, seriously. I love that. I almost want to get hair just like that. <gasps> then we have a match. It'll be kind of cute. <laughs> See what I mean? Chat, there you go. You're in, dude. Instantly mm -hmm. in. And like, it's hard to really make an impression from those quick seconds. But next time they see you, they might remember you. Just make it a regular thing and just be like, hey again, like, you know? And they'll be like, oh, hey, it was you. And they'll remember you. I swear to God, there was people who I ended up making like middle school crush feelings on where it was like a fleeting feeling. I'd get kind of like butterflies when I'd see them appear regular and be like, oh my gosh, it's them. <laughs> I wonder if they'll like hit, hit, hit me up, you know, talk to me a little bit. I have customers like that too. I have co-workers actually. Yeah. One of them I'm still friends with like 10 years later. Oh, dude, I could never make friends with my co-workers. I feel like it was such a different vibe. He had a flurry on wallet. I couldn't help oh. myself. I was like, oh, a nerd. Okay, <laughs> thank God. I don't, I, I'm, I'm like scared of nerd men in real life. <laughs> well, a lot of them are really scary. Like when I worked at the game store, there were a lot of... <laughs> and I mean this nicely, but there were a lot of like overbearing types.
steps, I guess is the way to put it. Yeah, 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 exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm trying to emphasize for you on stream today, you guys. Don't be overbearing. I have a really good TikTok that I wish I maybe I could show you in a little bit where it's like the perfect example of like how not to be. Hold on, let me pull it up. Okay, so here's an example of how to not behave, chat. Never do this. Please, please, God, literally never do this, like, ever. Like, ever, 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 dude. I need you to answer this question. Okay. Do you play any video games? Maybe, sometimes. I have a Switch. Wow. So, like, what do you do with that? You know, like, put it in, into the slot and put it on the TV. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow. So, like, listen, I don't want to be in, like, a controlling relationship. Oh. But do you think there's any chance that maybe you can, like, control me? Like, I can give you a controller and oh. you can plug it in me. Yeah, I'm not... Play like a video game. I'm not in the butt stuff, but... I need, I need an excuse. Should I say that? Like, my dog died. I don't know. I don't know. What do I do? Oh. Hey. <coughs> I just, I just, I just got a call in the bathroom from my doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm pregnant. Holy moly, guacamole, <laughs> tamale, tamale, tamale. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me about this? I didn't know. So literally, like, I don't know how to explain each little tidbit and be like, chat. Actually, no, that's a perfect thing. Chat, where did he go wrong? Why don't you tell me where did he go wrong? I want to make sure you guys know how to not be cringe everywhere. <laughs> too it's horrible <laughs> yeah no it's really bad it's really bad and it, it, it kind of corners you like like in a an animalistic environment you know like we, we go back to our like animalistic roots where you feel like you're a cornered like and and the predator is like prowling around you like circling you and you don't know how to like run away exactly oh god especially if you're at work or at school <laughs> drip terrible dialogue cringe very good drunk doggo very good you're correct you're exactly right his drip was <laughs> he did nothing wrong <laughs> It really is about the fit. If it doesn't fit, it looks sloppy. And then if it looks sloppy, you look sloppy and unkempt. And then it just it snowballs out of control there. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oni says she wants super tight leather ball showing jeans. <laughs> um, that's a very strong power move. And honestly, if you have the confidence to have super tight leather, like, pleather jeans that showcase your, like, absolute length and sheer force, I don't even Just think I would it. own it. Yeah, I would not be intimidated. Yeah. I'd be impressed. Mm -hmm. There's a huge difference between like wearing something cringe and then wearing something and owning it. If you own it, it's just like fucking yeah. amazing, dude. Absolutely outstanding. Like I respect, dude. Being confident but not cocky in your appearance is really nice. Exactly. Confidence. Even if you don't feel it, take it. Flex it. Yeah. Now let's 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 take it to the next lesson. Jokes, all right? I feel like that's an easy way to many people's hearts is humor. People who make you laugh, people who laugh at what you have to say, but it's not that easy, right? It's not that easy. Now I've seen I've seen my Discord. Uh, I see what people post in my meme image channel. The mods probably have to monitor that channel more than any other fucking channel in my Discord. <laughs> the bullshit that people post in that goddamn fucking channel. You think you're fucking funny, bro? <laughs> they do think they're funny. They do. That's the problem sometimes. <laughs> so. How do you know what's funny and what gets you, like, sexy points? What if you send out a video that's like, ha isn't this so funny? And it's like some kind of violence or like uh, uh, something inappropriate. That's okay. So here, I'll make a quick list, a checklist even, okay? So number one, for things that like never to do, crusty. That's literally the first one I'll say. Don't send them something crusty. Please don't send them anything that's like, what, what would you call it? Deep fried, uh, crusty, oh, and JPEG yeah. quality. Deep fried. That's gross. I don't know it's what's supposed to really happen. It's artifact, so it belongs in a museum at that point. Yeah, that's that's gross. Uh, you like put down. <laughs> it, it needs to be put down. It's very rare that that is ever funny. Something like monkey flip. That's kind of funny. It's crusty. It's a crusty video. But I feel like before you start sending them those jokes, you really got to gauge what they're into. So number two, um, what do you guys think? Somebody were to send you a funny meme or joke, what is something that immediately puts you off? I would oh, say like, something like... that's too controversial. Controversial? Ooh, yeah. yeah. How do you fucking say that word? I don't know. 
I don't know how to spell, and this doesn't have um, spell check, so we're just gonna. I, I... <laughs> but that—that's really valid. Ab absolutely, anything controversially or political, you don't wanna, you don't wanna send. If you don't know what their sense of humor is, you never know. Maybe they do think it's funny, but don't risk it. Yeah, yeah, that is not a starting topic. No, 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 absolutely not. It's probably not even a good topic. They'll probably like you more if you just shut the fuck up. Absolutely, about any of that. <laughs> nobody, nobody <laughs> wants to have political talks or like oh really well who did you vote for like don't <laughs> nobody wants to <laughs> yeah no no i'm trying to just chill and do dumb bitch shit okay no <laughs> uh, what about yeah, you yeah. do you think there's uh, anything that's scary yeah i was gonna say something that's too like in jokey like if somebody sends me something really really specific and i just have no idea and it's like <laughs> i don't know do i laugh at this uh, it's like <laughs> you just like smile <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm just like, oh, this is probably really funny. To yeah, just, like, I get it. <laughs> it's like, what if you've never talked about it and they send you a meme of like, oh my god, and the meme is like, Hunter x Hunter fans when Ahsoka <laughs> does the thing and you've like never seen it in your entire life. Yeah, oh. like, that's so weird. Who would ever do that? <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Rowan has great perspective because he is a homosexual and also a man. So he provides us a very unique but also based thing. We have pretty much all variety here for, for people who will know how to handle situations. Okay, so this is gonna be a pretty out there thing, okay? But I'm just gonna say, as and I'm pretty sure we can all agree as people on the uh, LGBT spectrum or even just women in general, trust me. 100%. You do not even have to be bisexual. You can be straight. You can identify as straight as possible. But the more confident you are in your sexuality, and I don't mean like you are proud to be straight, but the more confident you are in yourself, in your sexuality, but you have the ability to be open, amazing, dude. I literally can't tell you how many like friends I have that are like androgynous or they're open or they like to wear colors, um, even like pastel colors. You know, they're open to things that like some men might be afraid to be open about mm -hmm. it literally makes you feel so safe especially yes. as like a woman it, it gets rid of like the alpha male scary kind of like bro like yeah what's up uh, i'm going to like a party tonight if you like want to come with me you know, like that kind of shit is scary don't you do that when you're chill and like you know how to be real and like personable and you're not afraid to just be like wow i really like that guy's style or something it makes mm -hmm. them feel more approachable i feel like people who are afraid to be like mistaken for a different orientation or something like oh, I don't yeah. know something about it just kind of rubs me the wrong way yeah and like they could even be like oh are you like bisexual they could be like no i just i just think that guy's really good looking i like his style and they could be like oh okay chill yeah that's yeah. all it takes yes, like I... yeah, <laughs> yeah and like maybe Please, yeah no. you know you're not afraid to like have like a piercing or like you you like certain mm -hmm. colors you know maybe you, you want your nails done there's nothing wrong with having like a facial routine liking certain things i honestly think like, I know feminism is a very popular thing in even this day and age for decades now, but I, I definitely think there's just, I don't even know what to call it, but I feel like men grow up like being afraid to express these kinds of things and mm -hmm. like learning like, oh, it's just guys being guys. You're like dudes are dudes. Yeah. It drives me crazy. And you guys, I've, I've gone on these rants before, but it's like you, the Target girl section or any clothing brand will be like, wow, look at all these clothes. And you walk to the guy section and it's like, what shade of plaid would you like, sir? <laughs> yeah. Like it's a wasteland. <laughs> I hate it. Plaid. It's a wasteland. Like, yeah. Older generations have a hard time of like accepting these things because they mm -hmm. grew up with the same thing of like that's not what men do or like you want to oh, use oh, three oh. in one shampoo you know like that's literally again if you invite a woman to your house and she's going to take some shower please if you have three please in one shampoo ass. she will leave you she will fucking leave you if you have three in one shampoo literally yeah, throw that shit use that. <laughs> no. nobody wants to wash their fucking hair with the shit that's supposed to also go in your crack and your yeah. face there's not please guys come on that's self care not even good for your hair <laughs> that's yeah. terrible oh my god it's terrible. That's mm -hmm. another thing. If you take care of yourself, even just a little bit, get some nice yeah, shampoo, yeah. get a facial routine, it's sexy. Self-care mm -hmm. is sexy. Just a little bit. Like, you don't have to go, you don't have to start, like, trimming your fucking nails in a no. filing them down and getting an eyelash curler. No. Don't gotta do all that. Just get Let's a facial well cleanser. Mm -hmm. And then, like, some good wash and a little dash of cologne, not five billion sprays of Axe. Do we'll some go research. a long way. Do 
some research, feel feel yourself out. And I don't mean like start jerking your cock, but like <laughs> feel your hair. What is your hair like? Does your hair, is your hair prone to get greasy? Do you have a dry scalp? Is your hair curly? Mm -hmm. Is it straight? Mm -hmm. You can easily get shampoos that complement that and reinforce yeah. like what would be the best for you. Also, yeah. guys, you want like the secret to having a clean fucking face, dude? If you're a guy who needs to shave, I swear to God, dude, exfoliate right before you shave. I yes, swear to God, exfoliate yes, your face yes, right yes. before you shave. You will have the cleanest face. No fucking nicks. Dude, it mm -hmm. will be amazing. I swear to God. You will look oh, like yes. you just like you just got birthed from the womb, dude. It's it's amazing. <laughs>